We are going to make a wine barrel border feature for our porch. So I wanna show you guys how I do it. I took a drill bit and I found the same size as the pipe and I drilled it into the center of it. I wanted to do a test run to make sure wherever the water was coming out of the spigot that it reached far enough that it was far enough up or far enough back for um, so the water didn't fall out of the bucket that I have put inside the wine barrel. You don't have to use the well pump, the old well pump that I have. You could use anything. If you find a bucket that flows into another bucket, um, a lot of times people will take the plastic wine barrels that you can get at Lowe's and Home Depot and they've um, kind of stacked them and you create a water feature that way. You don't even have to stack them. You could just have them like that and then find something that you can put a hose through that you can have it just pour out. You could do a sprinkler can, um, a sprinkler bucket or a can or something like that. So it looks like it has a spout pouring out it. So my dad has given me this really cool old well pump. So, I have drilled the hole for it. It sits right on there. Now, what's cool about this is the water is going to, I'm going to put a uh, pump on it that's gonna push the water up and through and around. What I did inside was I went to Walmart. I got a bucket. Um, it was just an ice bucket that they had in the summertime. I have spray painted it black. So, it kind of blends in a little bit better in there. It's only about this deep. Um, I put a box underneath the ice bucket just to keep it um, up a little bit. To put this in there, I'm gonna plug in my electric. I have taken, I'm using a hose like this that you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's. I created um, kind of a couple different pieces that screw into each other because it's going from such um, a wide piece from like, I think it was an inch and a half or an inch and a quarter and I'm going down to a quarter inch. So I pretty much had to buy pieces that I ended up spray painting together and I even spray painted the hose. So when it goes in there, it's no more, it doesn't, you don't notice it so much with your eyes that there is a pump in there pumping the water when it was, this, all this stuff comes in white. It was like PVC plumbing. So all you do, Find the size hose you want. Well, first find the pump you want, find the hose that's gotta go with it. Then take a little piece of the hose to Lowe's and kind of just make your fitting to know what size. This was the pipe that was underneath it that we ended up cutting off because it was a little too deep. So if you notice the fittings that I have made, slide right in there. We're gonna probably take a little bit of silicone once we're done and kind of seal it up to it so it's going to sit in like this and then what we're going to do is we are going to slide it into the spout the buckets in there i'm going to put the hose in there fill the bucket up and i'll show you guys what it looks like when we're done i'm a little nervous because, let me turn this thing. <laughs> because I didn't have it this high before, so I'm hoping the water don't go everywhere. Greenery, possibly stick in there, kind of distract your eyes. You don't really see the pipe that it's coming out of. 